Even my husband doing nice things for me causes me a lot of stress for the same reasons meals do. So in that last video, I talk about meals and how just how stressful they are and why for so many women. Same thing with like gifts or like having something nice done for me. Not always, but here's an example. So Anthony, my husband and I were up dog sitting for his parents. They live like an, out, an hour outside of Lyon. And usually when we stay there, I ride his dad's bike. Riding a bike is really, it's like, it's how I like do my storytelling as a writer, storyteller and all that stuff. Riding my bike actually is part of my process. I, it, I usually need some sort of physical activity, but riding a bike, you know, I'm like really like riding through the story, like movement. Anyway, it's whatever. It's, it, it's, it's a mental health thing. Too. So we get there and oops, the bike's broken. We had no idea. So now we don't have a bike for me. And I was like, you know, he's like, well, I can go pick up the bike back home. And I'm like, no, no, it's fine. I'll just, you know, hike, whatever. I don't want you to deal with getting the bike. So, so here's where former trauma comes in and just being a woman raised under patriarchy. So I know him getting my bike is a terrible idea and it's not worth it because I, I know him so well. And I have been socially conditioned through patriarchy and from trauma of being raised by a king baby that I had to walk on eggshells around. And then also dating an abusive man that I had to walk on eggshells around. Like I, I anticipate men's moods and know them so well that I'm always ready. You know, and I'm always like five steps ahead. So I remember thinking, oh, if he goes and gets my bike, that means after work, he's gonna fight traffic, which is gonna take an extra hour just to pick up this bike. He's gonna have to go park in the garage, which is very tight and it's like Europe. It's, it's like for tiny, you know? And then I, we don't even know if my bike fits in the car well. And then he's gonna have to fight traffic coming all the way back. He won't get home until super late. And then he's responsible for cooking and all that stuff. So if he does this after work one day, then we're not going to eat until like 10 o'clock at night. He's going to be so exhausted. He was also working. This is back when he's working the job that he ended up leaving with burnout to give you any idea of how stressful um, every day is because of this job. So then I'm like, okay, so then he's going to stay up late and then he's not going to go to bed till late and it's going to ruin his whole next day. Like I, I see the whole week, the whole week being screwed by this one decision to do something nice for his wife, for me and my mental health and all these other things. But I knew that's how that script would play. I know. I know. So I had told him, like, whatever. I'll just hike. Whatever. It, exercise is fine. Like, I, whatever. But he really wanted me to have a bike. So he did this. All the things that I predicted happened. Plus, he showed up with a bike a little bit broken because the bike didn't fit in the car totally. Like, my light's all messed up. I'm pissed because I knew all this was going to happen. He's hurt because I seem like a totally ungrateful little bird. Meanwhile, all my trauma responses are being triggered. My abusive ex literally used to give me gifts to torture me. So instead of this thoughtful thing making me feel good, it triggered all my trauma. 